governor outlined her plan to put you back to work. She wants to get you in and out of college a lot faster. South Carolina already has a program in place, and each week our exclusive Quick Job series focuses on one course. Tonight, the job team Maria Catula shows you how to move into the medical field. This appendectomy is far from routine. You have an Army Navy? The patient is a dummy, and those wearing scrubs are students at York Tech. Scaffold. All of them working towards a diploma in surgical technology. We're the ones that kind of uh, monitor the entire sterile field uh, during surgery. All of the instruments, we, we have to learn not only the, the names of the instruments, but the function of the instruments. The late 60s, um, this actual profession started uh, in the military, and then so now the, uh, the, what used to be the nurse doing this is now the surgical tech. And what's used with that? Instructor John Ratliff's classes are full of displaced workers. The youngest students are probably, I think, 19, and I think the oldest students in their 50s. My last job was working at Walmart. Kiki Hemphill says her trip back to college was longer than most. I dropped out of school. The last grade I passed was the eighth. I've never met a surgical technologist that wanted to work that didn't have a job. I mean, it, it is, uh, we have a, uh, our placement is 100%. Outpatient surgery centers, uh, doctor-owned surgery centers. Um, right you can uh, work as a sales rep. It takes about one year to do the program. Starting pay is between $13 and $17 an hour and $20 an hour if you're willing to travel. But there's a perk you can't put a price on. I've had students that have actually held a patient's heart, and they said, Mr. Ratlett, it was the most amazing thing. In Rock Hill, Maria Catula, News Channel 36.